Hey, my name's Natalie Prass, and you're watching Toasted. Your album is uh, finally out. It's finally out, yeah. It's been a long time coming, um, years. So it's kind of, I feel like it just recently sunk in, like, oh yeah, this is actually happening. Because um, it's just kind of the weight, um, like the amount of time it took for it to come out just made it seem like it was just all a dream almost because it had been so long since we made it and it was like oh wait is this actually a real thing and it's so cool that it's I read interviews yeah. I read interviews that you said well I was about to stop making music but I mean yeah I mean I feel like every artist you know you kind of get to a point maybe like you work so hard and like you just keep uh, running into walls pe rejection like you know and you're just like how much of this can I take or like how much when do I stop like when's my when's my point of like okay maybe I should go to grad school or something you know what I mean I feel like a lot of a lot of artists kind of go through that and um and I was definitely starting la last year especially um having those thoughts like well maybe I should think of something else to do like maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do and um and then I got the call to be in Jenny's band and I was like okay maybe you know I'll keep I'll keep going you know but I didn't I didn't really tell many people that I was thinking of other things like I only told like my trusted really close friends but it definitely yeah that was that was a real moment for me yeah you're a prolific writer you wrote probably all your life yeah. the collection of songs that are on this album mm -hmm. that's probably the best of what you have is it good <laughs> it was the best of like what made sense for this record for sure because I sent Matt like a ton of songs um, things that weren't finished you know, anything that I had and um, he was really good at like picking the ones that would work well with this concept that we were you know I brought it up because I mean yeah. exactly that's what the record that's why it's such a special record yeah. you had the luxury yeah. of picking out of a, a lot of great songs out of a right. giant oeuvre yeah exactly that yeah. won't happen again no yeah and I was just talking to my manager Ben about this like oh wow I'm gonna need to like schedule writing time when I usually just like write you know I usually I'm not on the road this much you know normally and um, it's like wow I'm gonna have to like schedule like this is my week of writing time like back you know it's, it's different um, but yeah I usually write I try to write something every day I really try to do that just to keep things moving and you know I love the well, actually there is a theme in the record I think a lot of heartbreak there yeah definitely definitely write from a personal place always um, for better or for worse <laughs> um, but it's definitely the best way that I can deal with what's going on Get out of the picture. It's heavy. yeah that's a really good microphone too you're not online on social media a lot right I'm not online? I couldn't find you. I mean, could find you on Facebook, but oh, yeah. somebody else is running that page probably. Oh, yeah, the face, the music page. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely more of a Instagram, Twitter person, but f Facebook, I've kind of, like, given up on. Like, my personal Facebook page is just pictures of, like, boys to men as my profile <laughs> picture. <laughs> it's, like, boys to men and Gladys Knight, so, and Gal Costa. You'll find some pictures of me, but... <laughs> and then, then browsing around, I found this uh, nice interview uh, that, uh, that of all brands, uh, Urban Outfitters did with you. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought, what a crazy world we live in that Urban Outfitters does a better and a faster repo, repo about you yeah. than, for instance, Rolling Stone. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. They did a great job. Um, yeah, Brian McDaniel, this photographer, came over. I had just literally moved into that apartment like three days before that photo shoot. And he... And he called me, he's like, where should we do the photo shoot? I was like, well, I have an empty apartment. Like, that should be really good for a photo shoot, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> um, so he came over and it was a lot of fun. And then I had a great conversation. Um, it's a really great girl over there. Yeah, they did a great job. And that is your dog and it is your guitar. That's my, that's my dog, that's my guitar, yeah. Okay, talking about your record, what I like is the sound. It's a really, to me, it's so multi-layered and there are so many special sounds on there that it, it, it sounds like you guys had like, months to fiddle around and find the right tunes is that true that is true yeah we did a lot of pre-production i was back and forth from nashville to richmond multiple times i know that drive so well the 10 hours i can just do it you know yeah um and then we tracked 
started tracking and it like you know pressing record um took about a month and a couple weeks it took I'm, a not, month. I'm not really a sound freak but i mean there's one thing of your album of course next to your singing that stands out i think that's the the the, the snare drum sound which sounds like it's sampled yeah. and it returns in every song it's amazing oh pinson's gonna love that <laughs> pinson is like a drum he's just a genius with the drums and um he spent a lot of time he spends a lot of time fine-tuning all that so it's, it's, not, it's a lot it's played live it's not from a record it's not sampled it is no, it, that is all live that is all Pinson, you know, fine-tuning his gear, um, his ear is unbelievable, and then just Matt and Trey's ear for that, you know, yeah, yeah. So actually you have a super group recording your... Definite, definite super group, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely a very inspiring group of people, yeah. Another song that I liked, uh, It Is You. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's a standout song of your album, yeah. and uh, I don't want to put you down, but... I could see it in a Disney movie. That's okay. I'm very comfortable with that. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love all those old Disney songs, you know? I went through a phase where I was trying to write um, songs like that, like songs that could be standards. Like, I was, I'm so into that music, and I was like, I, I could probably write something like that, you know? And I, showed, I sent that song to Matt. He loved it, and he was like, I think we should do this one and just take it all the way and I was like yes that's my dream to you know because when I was writing all this that music you know of course like you just hear like that kind of music belongs with the symphony or you know like this a lush arrangement and it was like I can't believe it's actually happening you know? uh, you laugh. why do you laugh <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> no uh, yeah sure <laughs> I had started writing you know I had written the melody and the chords and kind of knew what I wanted and then I finished the lyrics and um, kind of he helped me fine-tune like everything with Kyle Ryan who's a, who I wrote a lot of the record with Actually, he, he was a, we had this weird, uh, really special musical bond, and um, he was, like, it was almost like we could just be like, this is what I want, and he's like, okay, yeah, I know exactly what that, you know, he's a very talented guy, yeah. Another thing that, that surprised me, a reprise on your record, why is that? Um, well, that's kind of like this old, uh, it's like a tip of the hat to like, what they used to do back in the day they would have a reprise of the the single like on the same record um kind of like a girl group thing or, and they would so we, were, we thought that'd be kind of fun to do as well and I started actually in Nashville I was playing that song kind of in that version like where I was speaking the lyrics um I kind of turned it into that instead of playing it the original way and Matt thought that that was really cool and so that's why we were like, oh, that used to be a thing. We should totally just go for it. Yeah. Uh, another song I loved, uh, Your Fool. Uh, I love the lyrics, I love the music, and I love you laughing at the end. Yeah, they kept that, yeah. That song was really fun to track vocals for because Matt, Matt really pushed me. Like, I made a lot of sounds like that I'd never made before when tracking vocals. He was like, you should just do a noise track where you're making weird noises with your voice. And you can hear them tucked in in that track. So that was probably a track like I was making some weird noise. And I was probably just laughing like that was fun, you know. <laughs> yeah. Other song, of course. Um uh, my baby don't understand me, great. Uh, why don't you believe in me? Uh, again, all love songs, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're here now in Amsterdam. Uh, you played an in-store in, uh, in London yesterday. Uh, it's, just, it's just starting off for you, basically. Yeah. Uh, I asked this to a lot of bands. What do you reckon? Is this, the, is this the best time of your career when everything is about to be happen, about to start to happen, or is it just hard work and... A lot of shit. I mean, it's hard to tell if this is the best time. Like, in the moment, you know, it's hard to really tell what's happening, but it's just I'm trying to enjoy it, you know. And and like you said, like, it's just starting off, which is true for, you know, in a lot of ways, but it also it doesn't feel like it's just starting off for me. Like, this is something I've been doing for years and years, you know, and put a lot of, made a lot of sacrifices, worked every day, you know, and so it's not, it's, it's not like an overnight thing, so I'm kind of just like, well, this was my goal, 
to have something like this happen, and it's amazing that it is happening. But now, just keep going, and now it's the next thing. I know, it's so nerdy. I'm just trying to stay focused, you know? It's like, this is amazing, all this stuff's happening, but like, it's all about like the songs and just staying focused and being my best, you know? Yeah. Your voice is really fra fragile on the album. Yeah. Well, I mean, Roy Orbison was a really soft singer. Like, you couldn't, you maybe can't tell that, but um, he was just right up on the mic, <laughs> you know? And, like, uh, just EQing. But, I mean, I've been singing in microphones for years and years and years now, so it's like, you know, I... I yeah, it's kind of like, it's just a skill, and... Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It works. Like we've had a few shows, and it works. Yeah, I just have to get away from the drum set. Uh, to yeah. my surprise, you played a reggae show with a big Isaac Hayes poster in the back. Why was that? <laughs> just to piss people off, or? No, no, no. <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, I was at the Ryman Auditorium, and uh, yeah, it was funny. Like I got my friend Tommy to play percussion he had these congas and he doesn't really play percussion he had like a big grateful dead sticker on the congas and we had isaac hayes up there and it was just a big party on stage just like my good friends and i just wanted to have a good time i was like i can't believe i'm playing the ryman we're gonna play some really fun songs we're just gonna have a good time up there you know it was kind of where my head was at the moment <laughs> i'm not afraid to like just do something like that i'm like hey guys this is great let's just go for it and have a good time and we're gonna play these weird songs <laughs> but I can't do that now I have to play well, I wish <laughs> I, have to, I have to play the record now <laughs> yeah. hey, what, what holds the future for you now because this is your first time here you're touring probably uh, you, you do in stores uh, it will pick up do you do festivals this year yeah we have some festivals booked we're gonna do, I know end of the road is definitely booked um, pitchfork fest and I think there's some more happening but yeah Yeah, yeah, it's all on there. Yeah, we're about to do, we're coming, we're leaving tomorrow for the U.S. to do a run of dates on the East Coast. And then we're coming right back to Europe to do um, a bunch of dates, opening for Ryan Adams. So the calendar is definitely full and filling up, which is really exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's all. Well, I want to do is play. I just want to play. Really? I mean, because that's my last question. You'll you'll be up for playing shitloads now a couple of, for a couple of years probably. Yeah. The same record with the songs that you played for a lot of years already. Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's a great thing. I feel very lucky. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>